Hey guys, uh, Dr. Whitelock here, Dr. Dan, most of you guys know me by. <sighs> so, I have been very reluctant to make this video because it kind of leans into the idea of this coronavirus pretty much exposing all of us, okay? And I just wanted to dig into that prospect that at some point, either in the very near future or in the not so near future, but sooner than what we might expect, at some point, all of our immune systems could very well be confronted with this coronavirus, all right? Like it or not, this is a pandemic, okay? And I'm not saying this to instill unnecessary fear in people. I just would like it if people had a healthy sense of caution and went about this in a logical mindset so that if they were confronted, if and when they were confronted with this virus, that their immune system would be ready. I think that's the most important thing to think about now at this point, apart from protecting ourselves from inoculating ourselves and observing good social distance and all of that, uh, even with those measures, there is the distinct possibility that that virus might be within your airspace and might land itself to your respiratory tract and have the option of proliferating and causing a clinical infection. And the key to getting ahead of that folks is to a strengthen our immune system on the front end all right now is preparation time guys okay this is where the rubber hits the road this is what's going to decide who is going to make it out on the better end of this natural selection in media ray this is happening right now okay so there's no getting around it all right that's what it is no getting around it sorry folks so with that being said the best that we can do right now, assuming that you're going to be confronted with it, okay? The best that we can do right now, folks, is to strengthen our immune system, okay? Uh, eat clean, healthy foods that boost the immune system. A lot of fresh vegetables, uh, fresh fruits, things like citrus, grapefruit, those sorts of things. Uh, things that are rich in uh, B vitamins. You know, broccoli, spinach, these very fibrous, dense, nutrient-dense vegetables and nutrient-dense foods, not calorie-dense foods. And pretty much observing an anti-inflammatory lifestyle that can only boost your immune system and have your, uh, your B cells and T cells ready for when you might be confronted with this thing. Because it's not slowing down, folks. Uh, staying well hydrated, super important. Very, very important because when you're stuck with a respiratory illness, your metabolic rate increases and the amount of um, insensate uh, liquid loss, vapor loss, that's going to be increased. Okay, you're going to be breathing more, coughing, all of these kind of things. Uh, you're going to be losing more water and you don't want to dehydrate yourself and put your kidneys at risk when you're all, your body is already in, is already in emergency mode.